here and there upon this great land, sky and sea and eye and hand have labored arm in arm to create the most unique artifact of our civilization, the golf course. These verdant sweeps of hallowed turf stand in mute but eloquent testimony to the ancient lure of the rich and mystical game of golf. And on these storied courses, awestruck multitudes have witnessed the unforgettable feats of golf's greatest legends. These astonishing players, paragons of the syrup smooth swing, inspire in us mere mortals the impossible dream of actual improvement. But on other courses far from the Celtic seas where golf was born, a more ordinary game is played. It too is golf, but with a definite difference. Golf untouched by genius, golf played with dogged determination rather than natural grace. It might well be asked, are these not the true heroes of the game of golf, who arise each Saturday morning, their eyes bright, with the vision of saved pars and lucky birdies. There they stand, there we stand, the rest of us, the bad golfers, tirelessly trying to achieve by study and practice what a few fortunate souls obtain as a birthright. Okay, left arm straight, but not too rigid. Elbow tucked in close, but not locked. Grip. Firm, but not too firm. Knees flexed, but not too flexed. Head down, chin up, back slowly. Oh, God. I will never learn to play golf like a pro. Why can't I find someone to teach me to play golf my way? I don't know what it is. I have taken dozens of lessons. I've spent hours on the driving range practicing. Hours of practicing, Billy. Most people practice to play good golf. But no matter how much we practice, we still end up playing bad golf. So all the effort we make to play good golf should be spent on the game that we play the most. That's it, Charlie. Very good. Somebody I helped out yesterday. Our attention should be turned to bad golf and ways to make it easier to play bad golf. Now, Billy, we don't play golf to feel bad. We play bad golf, but we feel good. You wait right here. I'm going to get my gear, and I'll be back in a second. Billy? There are over 50 million people in the world who play golf. There are 80,000 professional instructors teaching them to play better golf. There are 12,000 books with individual teaching methods and 400 videotapes with a host of how-to ideas. 50 million people and 49,990,000 of them still play bad golf. Rejoice, Billy. You're in good company. What is our credo, Billy? I don't play golf to feel bad. I, I play, play bad, bad golf, golf but, but feel good. good. Gosh. Hold out your hands. Quick. Now, which ones are yours? Quick. Quick, please. Ha! We're on the right track. You the man, Leslie. I got you, babe. Hey! Billy, all golfers have one thing in common. They grip the club at the thin end and not at that other end where that curvy thing is. The club head? Right, Billy. Right. And that grip is absolutely essential to golf. Why? Because it gives you a place to put your hands when you swing. What's the first fundamental in golf, Billy? The Varden grip. Close, Billy? Close. You got a 20? <sighs> yeah. Not the Varden grip. The Varden tip. 
Much of a wait for a tea time? Five hours. The Barden Tip. A firm handshake, not a bone crusher, but good palm-to-palm -palm contact. As soon as you feel the bill being taken, release and pull your hand straight back. Next up, Nielsen Tusum. Always remember, the only really useful tip in golf is the one you give to the starter. Take off, feel bad. My bad golf to feel good. Ah, <laughs> uh, Billy, to get a round of golf off to a good start, very important to do the proper warming up exercises. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, five, uh, six, uh, three, uh, four, uh, five, uh, six. Naturally, before I came to the course, I did all my pre-game preparations. I drank a hearty breakfast, made passionate love, Walked a mile in another man's shoes. So when I get on the tee, I just concentrate on a few loosening up exercises. Ah! <laughs> Okay, Billy. Play, go! A total whiff. I completely missed the ball. I'm two strokes down, and I'm not even off the tee. Billy, Billy, keep you cool. There's no such thing as the total whiff. One of the key movements in golf is the practice swing. Ah. Nothing like a good full practice swing to iron the kinks out, is there? Now, on this, my real, actual, true, Final and intentional swing, I will make the same full body turn, only this time I will take the club back a little bit slower. Billy, if the ball moves when you swing, then it costs you a stroke, but if only the earth moves, then, according to all of the laws of physics, the earth, which is also a ball, albeit a very large one, then the earth is charged a one-stroke penalty. There is no movement in golf that cannot be made more difficult through diligent study and practice. Uh, what a terrible lie. It's sitting down so deep, I'll have to hack it out with an iron. Keep you cool, Billy, keep you cool. Most golfers rush up to hit the ball. They don't take enough time with their uh, pre-shot preparations. Now, before I initiate my swing, I use the pommel, not the waggle, and a downward press, not the forward press. The pummel and the waggle and the downward press. Pummel not the waggle and the downward press. Pummel not the waggle and the downward press. Pummel not the waggle and the downward press. Pummel and the waggle and the... 
Downward press. Hubble in the wiggle. And the downward press. Billy, never try to dig your ball out of a bad lie. Let the club do the work for you. Well, that doesn't look like an iron shot. I think you could use the driver. When you stop your backswing at the top to look at the position of your hands, there are two things you learn. How many hands you have, and which hand has the glove on it. Yikes, I was complaining about my lie. Look at this one. No problem, Billy, ground and repair. We'll take a free drop. Wait a minute. You can't move your ball. There, there are no ground under repair signs. Mm -hmm. yes, well, let us look at the rules of golf. See, ground under repairs. Uh, any portion of the course that is so marked and ordered by the committee or so declared by an authorized representative. Any member of the committee here present? No? All right, then I accept the responsibility. I hereby solemnly swear to preserve, protect, and defend this fine golf course. So be it. I hereby declare this ground under repair. Billy, always remember, make the rules work for you. There's no ground that cannot use a little repair. Excuse me. I hope you're not bothering our grounds under repair. When a foursome is on the green, four is not an excuse. So what is not an apology? and up yours is not an explanation. Oh, I'm never gonna find it in this stuff. It's a lost ball. I'll, I'll take a penalty stroke and hit another one. Keep your cool, Billy. A penalty stroke? Your ball may be a missing ball, but it is obviously not a lost ball. Billy? Sooner or later, someone's gonna find your ball, right? I guess. And they're not gonna post a note in the clubhouse asking who it belongs to so they can return it, are they? <laughs> of course not. They're gonna keep it. So, therefore, your ball is not a lost ball. It is a stolen ball. Even though the theft in question will occur sometime in the future, ipso facto, as it were, instead of e pluribus unum. Well, therefore, it would be a gross miscarriage of justice that you should be penalized, the innocent victim of this abominable crime against man and against golf, while the thief gets off scot-free. I rest my case. No penalty! Free drop in the fairway! Judge not, lest ye be not judged. Remember? Never pick up a lost ball while it is still rolling. Right in the sand trap. What a lousy bounce. Whatever you think you're doing wrong, that's the one thing you're doing right. Thank God there's no water. Ah, talk about the mother of all shots. All right, plant the feet. Open the club face. 
widen the stance, firm up the grip. Remember to swing up along the line of the feet. Billy, the reason the game is called golf is because all the other four-letter words have been taken. Now, when you're in a trap and you have taken six strokes, you have already exceeded your handicap, and a different approach must be taken. Now, you take up a good stance and plant your feet firmly. Bend forward at the waist and flex your knees. Extend your right arm forward, and in an easy motion, scoop up the ball. Let your head come up naturally. Swing your arm back. Cock the wrist. And in a forward and upward motion, you complete the follow through. Billy, I don't play golf to feel bad. I play bad golf, but I feel good. Excuse me, gentlemen, you will be sure to rake that trap, won't you? <laughs> sure <you're fine. laughs> Uh, these four-footers get me every time. <sighs> no! <sighs> Keep you cool, Billy. Keep you cool. Let us examine one of the golfer's worst nightmares. The short putt. How do we take the worry out of putt? How do we line up the putt to make absolutely sure the first putt will go into the hole? How do you stay calm under severe pressure? How and why and what and wherever and whenever? The questions keep repeating themselves. And you ask why not? To find the answer is no, and never was, and so that is why. And so the ultimate answer is the final answer. Remember, Billy, no putt ever got longer as a result of being marked. The real key to golf is a short game. The only thing that you can learn from golf books is that you can't learn anything from golf books. But you have to read an awful lot of them to find that out. You know, Billy, I've noticed one thing. You don't talk to your ball. Equipment attitude is very, very important. And the ball, of course, is part of that equipment. Give me a tea. Let me show you what I mean. Get left, get left, get left, get left. Left, left, 
Left. Go right. 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 Now down, 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 down! Bite, 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 bite! Get legs, 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 legs! Bite, bite, bite! There is a spiritual side to the game of golf. Okay, Billy, talk to your ball. It's okay, Billy. Uh, You'll get the hang of it. Uh, excuse me. Proper tea etiquette requires that you remain standing after shooting. Uh. Come on, Billy. Uh. When your ball has to carry over a water hazard, Use one more club or two more balls. <laughs> All right, my ball is on the cart path. Free drop. So what? I couldn't get over these trees in a million years. Nah. No, oh, what the hell? Uh, no, 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 Billy, not that way. Time for you to learn the power drop. Bruce, they stand erect, hold the ball at shoulder height and arm's length, and drop it. But since golfers come in various heights, the distance is not stipulated, nor is the velocity. Now a meteor drops into the Earth's atmosphere at about 10,000 miles per hour. And a marksman can drop a deer at a distance of 300 yards. So clearly, we have a great deal of leeway. <whistles> Billy, there's a simple secret to the rules. Make them work for you. The statute of limitations on forgotten strokes is two holes. Aha! Billy, there are times when good sportsmanship is as essential to the game of golf as good penmanship is to stock car racing. Not every golfer can take strokes off his own score, but with the proper techniques, you can help your opponent gain strokes on his score. A few swing thoughts, Billy. Shorter pivot, longer divot. 
Dip the hip, let her rip, swing late, and shift the weight. Oh. trajectory, top flight, XL, Spalding ball that cost three dollars. Do you know what I have never in my, yeah, you dirty workers, dirty workers, come on, come on, come on, so help, God, 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 oh, you dirty workers, God. Billy? Golf is 10% metal and 90% metal and vice versa. The difference between a $1 ball and a $3 ball is $2. OK, Billy, you're up. Good drive, Billy. You know, I could have sworn this was the ladies' tee. The markers are white, not red. Oh, this has got to be out of bounds. I don't see any out of bounds stakes. Did a ball come by here? Been doing wrong. I need a seven iron off the carpet. Billy, there's only one impossible shot in golf. A hole in one putt. Yes! The sure way to get a par is to leave a four-foot birdie putt two inches from the hole. Remember, the caddy is there to help you. That's a gimme, Billy. Well, but the ball is not inside Billy, the leather. in match play, you're allowed to concede to your opponent a putt of any length. Never putt a gimme. Besides, in the leather, the distance between the putter head and the bottom of the grip, that distance is a variable absolute. Good round, Billy. Thank you. What is our credo? We don't play golf to feel bad. We, we play, play bad, bad golf, golf, but to feel, feel good. good. Unless you're already bald, never use the comb in the blue fluid. Never mention in front of the club professional that you need a new set of clubs, and never buy a putter until you first had a chance to throw it. Always limp with the same leg for the entire round. And we are finally coming to understand that the swing weight of the club is as indispensable to the game of golf as the temperature of the grass 
on the fairway. Never take lessons from your father. Never teach your wife to play golf. And never play your son for money. I had taught him to sit there in Wukash. There are three key movements in golf. Keep your head down. Keep your stupid head down. Keep your damn stupid head down. Golfers who never cheat also lie. Thank you.